Mike Soft Power Automate is one of the products within the Mike Soft Power Platform, and it's probably the one that's perhaps uh, the hardest to understand because it does so much. It's a real Swiss Army knife of a product. So you can use it to uh, automate simple processes, which takes away a lot of the boring legwork for people doing their day-to-day -day job. So for example, they can uh, push the files out to OneDrive automatically when they're i3 email, uh, and a whole load of other templated processes they can set up by themselves. At the other end of the spectrum where you've got custom developers building solutions, they can use it to interact with so many different systems. Uh, you know, for example, they can react to things happening in ServiceNow and you know, lots of other systems that, that are out there that may have um, tasks and things being generated in them. You can bring them all together into a single place uh, and you can use that tool um, to automate any number of processes. So Microsoft um, Power Platform consists of a number of tools, as we know, and one of which being Microsoft Power Automate, and it's really the glue that holds those products together. So let's take the example where you've got a, a Microsoft Power app, uh, you click on a button, you want something to happen in the background. Maybe you want to go off and get some data from another system, but build some logic into that, have some sort of outcome off the back of that. It's really easy to do that in Microsoft Power Automate. Those products work together so well. Uh, even something like Microsoft Power BI, if you want to automate some refreshes with the data sets, um, then you can use um, Microsoft Power Automate to do that as well. So there's lots of different reasons you can use it and pretty much all of the products within uh, the Microsoft Power Platform use Microsoft Power Automate to some degree. Uh, even things like Copilot Studio, for example, where you need to reach out and get some data perhaps to return back to your custom Copilot agent, Microsoft Power Automate is going to be the tool for that as well. Some of the best parts of Microsoft Power Automate are really the connectors. and That's really the, the hidden gem within the Microsoft um, Power Automate platform. Uh, you've got about 1200 different connectors in there for all kinds of different systems that you might use every single day, not just the Microsoft systems like SharePoint and Planner and Teams, but outside systems like LinkedIn and Salesforce and ServiceNow. Uh, connectors exist for these already. All you have to do is use the connector and it will expose all of your actions and that you can then consume within your flow. So for example, if you want to react to something happening in the system A, copy some data across to system B automatically, you can do that using the connectors. And even if you don't have a connector for the system that you're using, it's really easy to create a custom connector in the tool as well. So as long as you have some idea about the API behind the scenes, you can just connect to that system and then expose all the endpoints of the API to then build that into your workflow. With the release of uh, Microsoft um, Copilot for Business, we're starting to see much more tie-in with Microsoft Power Automate. For example, you can use Copilot to build Power Automate flows, so if you don't want to go through the process of selecting templates and clicking in an auto way, you can literally just ask it a question, how do I automate this process? How do I set up an approval for, um, for, for these documents, for example? And it will then generate a, a Power Automate flow for you on the fly. But conversely, on the other side of the fence, we've also got some more advanced tools where we can actually call um, flows, Power Automate flows directly from, from Copilot conversations as well. So you could say to uh, a Copilot bot, Know, start my out of office workflow, for example, uh, and, and it will respond to it in that way. So there's lots of different ways that the two things are connected. Microsoft Power Automate is really good at interacting with some of the other areas of Microsoft Power Platform, in particular Power Apps. So there's often a situation where you've got an app, it's got a nice interface, you've got some boxes people are typing stuff into, you've got some nice controls, but you need it to go off and do something in the background. You need, you need to click on a button, for example, pass some values in, go off to another system, get some data, make some decisions, form some logic, and then come back. And you want that to be kind of a black box system that just goes away, does what it does, and comes back. And that's where it's really great to be able to hook the two products together. So Power Apps and Power Automate make a fantastic uh, pairing. Microsoft Power Automate works fantastically well across all different businesses, but if you're in a business that's, that's heavily monitored and heavily governed, for, for example, financial services, banking industries, for example, investment industries, something like Microsoft Power Automate is a really good way of managing your governance. You can have it to you know, record information at any time anything's touched. You can have Power Automate monitoring that, writing away all the information in the background, and it's fantastically good for things like approvals. So, for example, um, in the banking industries, anything that has to be done has to be uh, approved multiple times. This is the way that these heavily government industries work. So it's, it's a dream for that because it's really easy to set up some approvals on data, on documents, so that you can be sure that when that information is uh, you know, finally published, it's been through all the correct stages of approval. Music